Alright guys, let's learn how to train with just one or two dumbbells. Let's go. Alright guys, so many of you have um, maybe some dumbbells lying around at home, um, or even if you're in the gym and you just want to be able to have a full body workout or know what kind of exercises you can do with simply one or two dumbbells. So, Alright, for the legs, it's as simple as you can go for a standard squat. Um, We've also got two more sports that can be done with one or two dumbbells. So if I'm using one, it's called sumo because you have a wide stance, toes slightly outwards, dropping the hips, keeping the chest up, coming up. Again, if I'm using two dumbbells, I can go this way or this way. Also got side lunges. You can hold one dumbbell, foot facing forward, step, drop your hip, you can reach down, come back up, you can two, down, or two hands through. Alright. Or you can have a split start, drop. Solid, 
Not just your arms, I'm just contracting them. From here, I'm going to push up over my head. There are many ways to do this. If I'm doing a standard shoulder press, my elbows will be slightly forward. I'm going to bring the dumbbells kind of in line with my ears. I'm going to have my forearms parallel to the wall, so they're not sticking out, they're going to be extended right here. And I'll reach up. Yes, you may bring it in, but it's not necessary. You just draw it back up, making sure you've got stability. Start here. Just drive up. Controlling the descent as well. Check on the side. Come up this. Okay, if you've got tight shoulders or mobility problems, you can turn it forward, keep your elbows in, you can drive straight up, and you can rotate. Up, over here, up the common mistake. Stretch straight up. Okay, pushing. If you have a bench, you may do what we call bench press or chest press. And you don't need that, but you can just do a floor press. Press it on the floor. Back to my elbows will touch the floor, but you don't want to come down hard, bang, 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 control to the light tap. Elbows in line with the middle of my chest. Again, forearms are parallel to the wall. Don't rotate. And try to make sure it's not too much forward. Right. And then, chin up. I'm not going to hit the floor. All right, I'm going to control to the light tap. An alternative to that would be push-ups. Okay, these are hex, hexagon shapes, so it's a lot easier. It's a bit more difficult if you have the arms around. But I'm showing you the variation of push-ups. I'm going to get my body straight, into my core, drop my chest, and come back up. You know, the good thing about these is you can change your angles. I can change it so it's about 45 degrees, but I can have it forward facing to represent a barbell. Same principle. Alright. Again, not everyone can do push ups. So, to regress it, if I get into a high position or push up position, drop my knees, keep my shoulders over my hands, chest down. Alright, my hips have to go down and up as well. If I want to regress that further, bring my hips back, over my knees forward. And just lean towards the floor. What else we got? The back, bent over row. Essentially, when you're pulling backwards, you're going to be working the back, right? With your elbows, you're retracting, keeping your chest up. There's many versions of that. Keep it straight forward, you're going to have a neutral grip. You're going to go into hinge position. All right, from here, I'm going to pull up. I'm going to pull my elbows following the direction of my thigh muscle. All right, there, back down. Notice I'm not tilting the dumbbell. I'm keeping it neutral. Stay there. Try and avoid doing this. So in position. You can change position. Wide, pull back. Imagine I'm drawing this towards my navel. Not lifting up. I'm going to change if I go under here. All right, we're going to work shoulders. And the upper back, trapezes, back and shoulders, and so on. With this principle, we need to lead with the elbows. So I'm going to bring my elbows up. It's not a case of bringing my hands up. I always say it's not handbag. Lead with the elbows. It's not going to lift, and then elbows. Elbows should be used simultaneously, if not before. All right? Keep the weight close to the body. Chest up. Legs it up. Shoulders back. Up. Back down. Big shoulders up. 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 Squeeze. Down, up, down. This is actually really good if you tend to slouch or you have an office based job or if you've got posture problems if your shoulders are slightly um, retracted. So, this is actually good to work with your muscles as well. Okay, you've got the back of the arms. Alright, 50, more than 50%, probably about 60 65% of the arm. It's your triceps because there's two muscles here, three muscles there. Um, a lot of you ladies want to work on, for example, bingo wings, guys want the arms. It's a great exercise. Open extension. This is called a diamond grip. Get your shoulder overhead, and if you do the seated or standing, from here I like to go into a split stance, and then try to bring my elbows forward, bring the dumbbell down the back, keep my elbows high, don't bring it down, keep your elbows high, drive back up, back down, back up, show you from the side. I'm not bringing it all the way there, I'm just gonna bring a little flex on my elbow, and drive it back up. Alright. Uh, depends if you want to heavier weight, or if you've got lighter weights, 
and it's not challenging enough, what you can do is keep it over high, keep it there, don't bring it down because that's the shoulder. Keep that there, bring it down your back, and back up. Down, and back up. Down, and back up. These can be, these can be done seated as well. Alright, standing or seated. If you're standing, you're going to require more core stabilization. Alright, so that's the back of the arms. Obviously, you've got the front of the arms too, the biceps, two muscles. And that's the same thing. I'm doing a single hand, clasp my arm behind me, that stops me rotating. And then keep my wrist straight, so you've got flex at the wrist, be straight, chest up, and I'm up, and then that is an underhand grip. Watch out for the elbow plane. If I bring it down, it makes it easier. Alright? Bring it up, and don't just drop it, but control it. And bring it back down as well. Different positions, you can have a hammer grip, keep your wrist firm. And the same grip is all you need up to two. Alright? So this is two hundred hammer grip, try not to rock. To swing, alright? Control. That side, keep your elbows in. Alright, let's go on to full body. So, many of you are familiar with training first, right? So, on my little legs, you want to reach down to the floor in front, make contact, jump the feet back, back up, and stand. When you stand, make sure you bring your chest up before your hips, alright? So, from here, here, and here. Right. Yes, you may put your chest down to the ground, all these different versions, you may jump, keep it straight forward for the dumbbells. Alright, when I reach down, the dumbbells are going to be in front of me. So I reach down, make sure it's stable, especially if you've got round dumbbells. Make sure you can take the load here, jump back, optional push up, forward with the legs, drive up, and then back down. Take away the push up. I'll take away the shoulder press. Alright, full body gets the heart pumping. Okay, we've also got a squat, it's a high pull. So remember the sumo squat. Yeah, remember the high pull? Or upright row, vertical row. Mix it together, two more squat. It's not about doing this. Keep your chest up, dropping your hips, drive it up, and back down. Okay, this next one could be quite challenging. It's an overhead lunge, right? So the aim is to lunge like I've done before. And this time you're going to keep your arms extended. This is often done with a barbell, with a dumbbell, with dumbbells, it's a lot harder because you have a lot more stability. Step, control, down, up. Control, up. Control, up. Or if you've got one dumbbell, same principle. Go there, go ahead. Pull back, alright? So, swing. 
But we did it. All right, or if you want an extra weight, you can use two. Same Chris. Two.